Hey people, Izzy's Army here again, and we're now after the next item on our steel list. And this is going to be a sword for cloud, which is pretty powerful for this point in the game. And that's going to last us for quite a bit of time. So there's a soldier there enemy that we need to encounter. That happens to be one. It's a really uh, decent weapon. Let's see if we can take one of these guys out because they are pretty strong. Pretty useful for farming these guys because you do do quite a bit of damage and when you're trying to get your uh, limit levels up that's always pretty useful. Right, let's just focus on this guy. Weaken a little bit. Yeah, these guys are pretty strong for this point in the game. As you can see, they're using a uh, level 2 spell. Cure Tifa. That sickle move is pretty powerful. Payoff is definitely worth it. Fortunately, it's another one of those enemies that wants to cast sleep on you all the time. It's funny how the same thing happened with the guy in the uh, train graveyard. Yeah, it's taking so long now. He's using up all his skill powers and he's unable to attack. I do love this battle music though. Come on Cloud, play out the bag. Nope. Antifa's got another limit break. Let's see what I say about these guys, they are pretty useful getting those limits up. You can do a bit of uh, farming on these guys to get all your limits levels up to max before the next boss. So it's a handy little trick. Okay, let's get Barrett to heal himself, might as well. Okay, it's a good, yay, hard edge. There we go, and we'll give T for the honor of finish him off. We're gonna miss on the second attack though, but it should be enough to beat him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is what we were looking for. So again, they're big jump and attack. We've also got up to four slots now. So if you wanted to, so. Maybe add a few extra things on, you know, if uh, I was potentially still looking to push Cloud's levels up, we could increase uh, his vitality by using Kevrod and get him to uh, get his limit breaks a bit more often. I think what we'll do though is we'll just stick on elemental, boost up that lightning power. Just because it'll be a bit useful if we can come across our other enemy straight away, which should be handy. Uh, so the next item we're after, and again you can spend as much time here as you want um, farming this to get uh, one for all members of the party is the carbon bangle. Uh, and this item again, you, you wouldn't get this for, for quite a while into the game. Okay, nope. Not the enemy that we wanted. Let's try and finish this quickly. Nope, oh. 
Let's do some magic, forgot about that. Shouldn't take two though. Oh, okay. See the uh, the old hard edge there in battle. Pretty nifty looking sword. Looks quite beast to be honest. Big hunk of uh, steel just wedged on the hilt there. Ah, and this is our next enemy. Just the one this time. But that's all we need. Well, hopefully this will be a quicker process. Barrett ready to uh, to go all guns blazing. Let's go to just give him a couple of punches and kicks. Ah. This game. I'm sure this drop rate is intentional. Hey, there we go. And I'll quickly finish this off then. I can show you again, you know, how much of an improvement this is going to be compared to what we're rocking at the moment. Ah, and Barrett's got his uh, second level break. So up to three slots, really nice boost in defense there as well, and magic defense. And this will be um, you know, the best bit of armor you get for quite some time in the game. So uh, we'll leave it there, guys. And um, I said you can farm those guys to your heart's content if you want to get one for, for each of the characters. Um, so you've got a new party member coming up as well, and you've got the split battles, so um, you, you know you may want a few of those just to, to get all your party up there ready to go. And I'll, um, I'll see you again in the next video.